How's it going guys and gals? Thanks for joining me. Today we're checking out the 30 caliber version of definitely one of the top guns you can get. We're talking the top three to five guns for sure. The raw HM1000X chassis gun in 30 caliber. By the way, a lot of times I get comments, people asking how much is this gun or where can I buy it? Every single video that I make, there's always gonna be a link to the gun in the description of the video. So for more information on this gun, just click on the link in the description. It'll take you to Pyramid Air, and you can grab one of these for yourself. This right here is the 22 caliber version of this gun, shooting dime-sized hat off a chicken at 75 yards away. The raw chassis gun is basically a precision shooting competition air rifle in a tactical chassis. You got M-lock rails all up and down the gun so you can mount accessories. It's got a really awesome grip, and the buttstock is just a whole thing in itself that we'll go over later on. But really awesome butt stock that's as solid as any wooden stock. No rattle at all. Not even close. And you guys will see what I'm talking about shortly. Right here you're looking at footage from my first raw video. And you can see I got a carbon fiber moderator kind of offset right there. Then right here, the next iteration was the moderator that you're seeing in this video. But when I ordered this gun, I should have ordered the new one half UNF version of the raw. They have it in the LRT and as well as the chassis gun that we're looking at here. And that's just gonna come with a straight barrel with one half UNF threads on the end, and you can put your Donnie FL or any LDC that you want on there, big or small. So I meant to order that one. I accidentally ordered this one. So I apologize for that, but you guys are gonna love this gun. I'll tell you that. Let's just shoot this guy right here in the ear. Wow. And also, if this is something that you care about, all the Rapid Air Works rifles are made in the USA. 480cc carbon fiber bottle, real carbon fiber shroud, 250 bar fill is going to give you plenty of shots, and a fully adjustable match grade trigger. Woo. And now I present to you the dirtiest 30 you're ever going to find. Alright, there's my moderator system, so we'll go over how that goes back on in a second. Hello. Here I got the raw chassis gun upside down and to clean it. Got a straight barrel at the end there. There's your little doodad that holds on the uh, moderator system. Carbon fiber shroud, carbon fiber bottle, aluminum chassis. This gun is so awesome. So I'm going to give it a quick cleaning. All right, just like uh, every other gun in the world, it's got that motor oil stuff in the barrel. So definitely want to get that out before you start shooting it for the best accuracy. So high quality barrels come clean on the first swipe and that's exactly what happened here. That was my first patch. My second patch looks like that. I can tell you that's just, uh, there's actually some dye that you get on the patch from that black cord right there. Quite a lot of it actually. Anyway, but that is my second patch and it's definitely, I got all the junk out on the first swipe, so. Check out those rifle grooves, you guys. Dirty 30. You guys want to see down the bore of the finest air gun in the world? Check it out. It doesn't look like rifling. It looks like a vortex into another dimension. There we go. You see the twisty? That's some crazy raw rifling right there. Okay, this right here is your inner piece, and it is threaded on both ends right there. So you just slip that over either way. Screw it on all the way. It's going to bottom out. This piece right here is held on with an Allen key. All right, screw that baby on. Then you have this piece right here, and this is just a hollow aluminum tube. And it's just going to pressure fit onto these O-rings right here. You just want to make sure that you get it squarely on there. Boom, right like that. And here you have the business in. Now you can go onto the raw website and see how this part comes apart. Basically there is some, they're like these foam little discs in here and each has like sort of a clover leaf shape cut out of it. They're kind of staggered in there. So that's what strips your air. And of course it works awesome. But we're gonna see, this is a 30 caliber, so we'll see how quiet it is. And then right there, this is the part that screws onto the end of the barrel. This actually is going to screw onto that silver piece inside. Of course, this will fit right here. And it just all pressure fits together really nicely once you screw it on there. 
Now we're in that silver thing right there. You want to just thread that. There's like maybe a 3 16th of an inch. You thread that in there. It's all O-ringed. Give it a nice little snug, snugging up there. We're good. This thing is like featherweight, you guys. Must weigh like maybe four ounces. I, I don't know. But it's very, very light. Much lighter than a normal moderator. This is the box that it comes in. And this is super, like this is very, very dense foam. High quality foam, I guess you'd call it. And by the time you... I was just saying right here that the double boxing, basically, the second box holds the first box all the way closed. So once your gun is all the way closed in this box, and your gun's not going anywhere, trust me, you get your magazine inside there. Those are some O-rings. So you basically have a, a case to keep your magazine in, which is going to keep it clean. Obviously, you want to keep everything clean when you're doing PCP air guns. Here's your raw user manual. It's a black and white affair, but... You can adjust your trigger and how to check your performance. A high-end gun like this, obviously you're gonna wanna read every word of your manual. Look at that, you even got some algebra in there. Me likey. So, buying a raw will make you a smarter person. Check that out, my gun is a real person. It has its own individual handwritten number. Awesome, serial number 5430. Left hand, extra wide. 30 caliber mag, nine shots. Well, it even tells you the shot capacity and everything. One thing I did not know until the other day, raws come in 177, so <laughs> that's on my list for sure. This is just your basic Marauder style magazine. It does say don't spin your cover the wrong way. So in the direction of the arrow, you're gonna spin your front wheel and that's gonna take your inner wheel with it. Then you actually want to plug this hole with one of your fingers and hold the wheel there. Then when you turn it over, you're just going to drop one pellet in backwards like that. And then you can spin this backwards and fill in all your other spots. Then you have a loaded magazine ready to go. When you load the magazine, you're going to have this going forward. You're going to slip this notch right over the barrel. Chink. You guys, this rifle has been manufactured to the highest specifications using top quality materials to give a lifetime of service. Rapid Air Weapons will repair or replace this rifle if any defect in materials or workmanship is found. However, the manufacturer will not take responsibility for the following. If the rifle has been dismantled, if the rifle is found to have any lubrication other than that recommended by the manufacturer, any regulator adjustment made other than by the manufacturer. So yeah, you got a one year warranty right there. You guys, I get tins in the mail that look like this, okay? So I don't know how I'm supposed to film air gun channel videos with pellets like this. But that brings me to my next point, which is why I love 30 calibers because the skirts don't deform. I dropped all three of these Hades on the ground, which is tile floor from like four feet up. Didn't hurt them at all. Okay, there is a lot going on here. And this thing, this is metal right here. So this thing actually, there's a push button on the other side. There we are. So you push this button and you can put this out two or three clicks. So that got me, you know, a couple inches length of pull, but there's no button to like put your stock out. This stock is the most rigid thing. Like I could barely pull this out. So this is, you might as well be looking at a solid piece of wood right there. I'm serious. So I need a little more. I'm usually go two notches out and I think I just have to undo that Allen key and then you put your stock where you prefer it and then you Allen key it back up. All right, so it turned out to be uh, 3 sixteenths for all you Yankees out there. Okay, so right here, I'm just gonna push this button in right here. So you can see right here, I'm pushing the button. And this is super stiff, like I can't, but if I use like two hands, so it's that stiff. So you're gonna have to use quite a bit of force to get that to snap back in, but the plus side is that this is super solid. Like I said, it's like a piece of wood. I'm gonna be single shot loading and it's really easy because they make that big wide cutout. So you just basically put your pellet in there. Lickety split. This is your safety down here. Sniper time. I love safeties like that. And even though I wasn't having the best morning trying to get everything set up before the wind started. Thanks for flying over my house when I'm making a video, jerk boy. 
I did manage to shoot some pretty awesome groups right out of the box. Okay, real quick, this is not accuracy testing. I'm just going to get some pellet speeds on this gun. Now, we know we don't. this is not a gun that you tune, so it's come in tune from the factory. So, the speeds are, these speeds are going to be what it's going to shoot, and it's never going to change. So, I'm sure it's going to shoot one or all of these super awesome. Probably all of them. You guys, minute by minute, it's sinking in what a badass gun this is. Because we're about to, uh, you know, shoot some dirty 30 downrange with extreme prejudice. But this is just so comfortable in my rifle rest. And so solid. Like I say, it feels like a traditional rifle. It's that solid. And then I can uh, hold on right there. Or I can grab my bottle if I want to a little bit. But it's very, very, very comfortable to shoot. So this is so solid. Um, we're going to definitely be doing some surgical precision down there at 35 yards. 36 yards away. Smurfic. We're going to start with the lightweights. 44.75 grain JSB. 44.8 grain FX pellets. And 44.75 grain Hades. Then move to the heavies. 50.15 grain JSBs. And 50.2 grain FX. Alright, so I don't know where this is going to hit. I better shoot away from my camera. Whoa, that's a smoothie right there. Very smooth trigger pull. So, let's shoot right here. Hmm. Okay, we hit way over there. Okay, cool. I thought I had this helix on like a BB gun or something. <laughs> I want to actually see if I can shoot a pretty good group, so. I can see that thing flying in. Three shot group. Three through the exact same hole, two through the exact same hole. Amazing, I love it. So you guys, that's uh, what, what you can expect with this gun. I gotta realign my chronograph here. We're shooting the Haiti. That was me a little bit. I I wasn't. Uh, it moved a little bit after I shot it. Boy, this is smooth city. This thing is freaking like finer rifles you ever want to shoot. <laughs> like I wasn't even trying on that one. I just aimed and shot. So we obviously need to keep clicking around a little bit here. We can go one click at a time. Smooth cocking too, so right, I'm going to put it right in the center of this guy right here. Pretty close. It could just be the sighting in. Alright, so uh, as fun as that is, let's switch pellets real quick. These might hit exactly the same spot. Let's see here. Go for this little guy here. Same hole in it, you guys. <laughs> Not much to say, you know, really. Not much to say that we all don't already know, right? This gun kicks ass. You guys, I'm not sighting in. This is just for grouping, so... We're not sighted in all the way. Or maybe the FX will settle down to a spot where we are. Let's see here. Yep. Let's do some FX's on the X right here. It's kind of a big target, but... Pretty awesome. I mean, I can't even screw it up. Alright, now we're into the heavies. These are the 50.15 uh, grain JSBs. 50.15 grain JSB. Let's see where they hit. 35 yards is not dropping any more than the other ones. Okay, I think my my backstop just fell off, but if I can see daylight through there. So those are traveling at uh, 858, about 860. Wow, this gun's powerful. All right, and then we're gonna try the FX. And these are actually 50.2 grain. Cool. 
Cool. I'm at 180 bar right now. I should probably refill. Let's just shoot this guy right here in the ear. <laughs> wow. Okay, anyway, um, that was fun. And we seriously shut that guy's ear off. I'm gonna fill back up 250 bar and let's do an official group with some 50s. That is like su such a one hole group right there. And I think those were the other two 44 grain three shot groups, you guys. Look where we hit the bunny too, right where we were aiming. So he's fine, but boy, we sent him for a journey. We only connected like right there. So I got these guys kind of staggered, so hopefully I can shoot some in the back without disturbing the ones in the front. So we'll see what happens. This actually ended up turning into a trick shot. I basically shot through the space between Sasquatch's butt and his arm and hit the rat right in the chin. The space I had to shoot through was barely bigger than a 30 caliber pellet. All right, we're gonna hit these guys with a 50 FX and I think I memorized who, the order that I have to go. I could probably go right through Sasquatch's uh, Right there, should I try it? That'd be crazy. Trick shottery at its finest. Sasquatch, the only one I was trying not to hit, well, he's still fine. Everybody else is dead. All right, you guys, I'm set up there at a very special 52 yards away. We're going to start with the light ones and go to the heavies. All right, let me just explain what is going on here. So that's a rat, and he's wearing a hat, okay, which is kind of weird. But it looks like he has a parasite that's biting his butt right there. And you can see the look on his face, he's, he's in pain. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of that parasite. So 50 yards away, let's get dialed in and uh, take care of business. Oh, I slipped on the trigger, but that was pretty good. Look at that. You wanna see a one shot side in? Yeah. I figured I'd be able to at least touch it. I gotta turn my power up to 12. 10 power at 35 yards, 12 power at 50 usually. That's it, buddy. <laughs> oh man, punch that thing clear out. It's like, it's about the size of a 30 caliber pellet. I forgot, I'm supposed to be doing groups, so let me try to do a group. I'm really jacked up on caffeine though, but let's just see what happens. It's actually perfect because now I can aim at the bullseye without shooting it out. Alright, nice group. Alright, that was one click right. Oh, I knew I couldn't hold my concentration that long. Guys, that was just for me concentrating and shooting really good but I couldn't hold out for five. <laughs> there it is, I got four out of the five through the same hole. Beautiful, so um, just know you guys that if you shot perfect, you'd have uh, that, that high one wouldn't be there. We're gonna switch to the 45.75 round nose JSB. Oh, we're probably gonna hit the same place. Maybe not. It would have a little better BC, I think, because it doesn't have that big old radioactive symbol cut out of the front of it. <laughs> That's pretty darn close to one hole, at least from back here. So let me fill back up. 
All right, now we have round nose FX44 grain. Oops. So I think they're gonna be a little high, let's see. <laughs> like right in the other bullseye hole. Kind of a big target, but here we go. Yeah, this target's a little too big, let me switch. Wow, so, now I'll just keep going, but I was just gonna say like, boy, if you're on your game, this thing just goes in the same hole. You know, that was not the gun, that was me. Probably if I relaxed all the way, I'd be shooting better, but you know, I have one chance to shoot this video, so I'm a little bit nervous as always. Do some nifty 50, here we go. And no, I haven't forgot about you, parasite. I see where we hit. All right. Definitely gotta come over. Wait. Yeah, that's it. Boy, this thing. No guessing with this baby. 51.5 grain JSB. Oh, that was totally probably me. Alright, let me try a new bullseye. Here's one. You guys can see how you could win contests with this gun, right? And so, let me take care of this guy. He's freaking dead. And also, no hats allowed, buddy. <laughs> All right. That's it for meow. See, that's a humane kill right there. And of course, this rat did nothing to me, so... He's outside. I got nothing against him. Tried to explain to my dog why he can't be out here when I'm shooting the Dirty 30, but he's pretty pissed right now. All right, you guys, so this is 80 yards away. Okay, and I wasn't filming because I got an appointment phone call and I had to like talk to the guy while I was shooting. But while I was on the phone, on speaker, just let me tell you the whole story. I was aiming right there and I hit right there with a couple shots anyway. The guy's calling back, so I gotta go, but five shots you guys 80 yards not two not three not four that's five shots my first shot was a low one and i put the next four through that hole so i'm gonna do it again for you guys all right we're all stickered up so i find these orange ones a little easier to see and i don't usually shoot past 50 yards so this is new to me and i'm sure that i'm gonna be able to repeat what i just did all right i shouldn't say that i have no idea but 80 yards nailed it. Okay, that's awesome. So we're at 80 yards. Right here, I grabbed a pellet from the wrong tin. Yeah, I was shooting the 50s. So let's go back to the 50s. That's what I thought. Those were actually the uh, 50.15 JSB is what did that group. Look at that, you guys, mopping up MOAs groups at ADR. So that was my second sh group I've shot, okay? So the first one, five in the one inch, and the second one, five in the one inch. Gotta love that, so hopefully my air's not getting low. Just getting to 200 bar right now. Lost my bullseye, this might have to be a three shot group. Oh, man, you know, I didn't have confidence that time, so that was me. Darn it. I was going to say mopping it up, but then again, you guys, I wasn't concentrating on the last shot, okay? Let me just uh, air up again. Okay, I'm on 20 power. <laughs> Five shots through like a dime nickel sized group. Hole, you guys, 80 yards. Superb. 
So it likes these heavies right here. All right, an aeroplane showed up right when I was filming this, but it's not gonna stop me, so this actually, ooh, it looks like it pops out. And then back here, super smooth. All right, you can see the trigger right there. It's a nice and rounded off. So it's two stage. It's gonna be 2.6 ounces. There's your first stage, and then it's just gonna break. Oh, very nicely. Of course, the same every time. Beautiful. And here's the official trigger pull test. Coming in at a very special 2.6 ounces. Two point seven, lightweight and almost the same every time. Here's the sound test. Seventy nine decibels is definitely backyard friendly. Not loud at all, especially considering how much power it's putting out. Check out this noise. This is one of the first things I made when I started welding. For this shot string, we're using the fifty point one five grain JSB pellets. Traveling 875 feet per second, putting out 85.23 foot pounds. All right, I filled it up to like 255, let it cool off, so we got a solid 250 bar right there. Let's do a shot string. My scope was dialed for 80 yards, so I just clicked my elevation dial maybe like 10 clicks. And we're gonna do this guy up here. That's like uh, maybe a half inch hole. They're both down. I forgot we're supposed to shoot some apples. Hold on. Here's some nice crispy vegetables straight off the vine. Whoa. <laughs> I wish I had the slow-mo camera on that one. And that would have been awesome. I know this is gonna make some of you hungry, but look at this. This is a nice crispy apple straight off the tree with a big old blueberry or whatever that is, blackberry. That blackberry right there. Oh my gosh. Calling it 829. All right, you guys, this little stinker wasn't recording, but that's where we ended right there at 829, and we fell off the regulator about 850 with this many shots. And here's that funky fresh shot string. It only stopped recording for like the last few shots, so we got most of it. All right, guys and girls, that's it for me on this one. Final thoughts on this gun are this video's too long, so see you later. Happy shooting, everyone. Catch you on the next one.